Hello YouTube people, this is gonna be one of those long and boring videos but I still wanna do it. You see I'm going on holiday and after holidays I'm gonna start selling watches that I already did a review on all the planned videos on. So while I still have all the, those watches I wanna do just one video about all of them, just quickly run through these watches. Uh, the ones I have reviewed and the ones are still upcoming and the ones that I want to keep for myself. Yeah, we'll talk about that in this video. So let's start with the watches that I have already reviewed and I'm going to put on sale after the holiday. Okay, let's start with, uh, no, probably. Okay, let's, let's start with this G-Shock. Very impressive watch, very polarizing. Some people hate it, some people love it. Me, uh, I hate the fitness side of this watch, but as a watch, it is a lot of fun. I kind of like it. As a watch, it is a lot of fun. And it's very comfortable. And the screen is so interesting. Very good screen. Yeah, I kind of like it. I, I kind of like it, you know. As a watch. But as a fitness watch, no. Okay, next, let's start with these uh, sub-homages. <laughs> okay, this Pagani design. Yeah, I am, I am selling it. And the reason why I'm selling it is because, well... Two reasons actually. First reason is that it is too big for me. Uh, I just don't like how much space on the wrist it takes. It just appears too big for to my eyes on my 16.5 centimeter wrist. And another reason is that it has this uh, gray finish, matte finish, uh, sunburst effect dial, which I just don't like. It looks a little bit dull in my opinion. Well, on camera it actually looks better than in, in real, but like on this angle, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't pop. It, I doesn't look alive. So it's gonna go for sale. Also, this Adidas dive, also too big for me, and I just don't like the quality of this Adidas dive. This uh, bezel is just, no, this clasp is just not good. And colors are mismatched, bezel uh, indexes and indexes on the dial yeah so this one definitely going on sale now this uh, i was actually thinking about keeping this even though it's big and shouty and it's so not me this watch but it is so much fun i was thinking about keeping it actually but why i'm selling it i will tell you towards the end of the video there is a reason there is another watch there is another watch and this beautiful beauty. Wow, I am so impressed by this watch. Check out the review of this watch if you haven't seen. It is such an impressive watch in person. It doesn't look that good in camera, in pictures, but in person, it is very impressive. I, I do highly recommend this watch if you have bigger wrists, because on my 16.5 centimeter wrist, it, just, it is just too big. Well, unless you like big watches, I don't know, but this watch is really wonderful, really wonderful watch. And I'm selling it. <laughs> okay, next watch. This uh, Casio Edifice. Wonderful watch, but I just don't connect with this watch. It doesn't click for me. Wonderful watch, but I don't know. I find other watches more appealing, some other watches. The ones that I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. The size is also slightly too big for me. Yeah, it takes too much space on my wrist. So that's the biggest thing. It, if it was smaller watch, I would consider keeping it. Now this Cadison They date homage, clomage. I don't like it. It's, it just, I don't know. It's, it just so doesn't click for me. It looks a little bit vulgar. These indexes look a little bit misaligned and the size of this watch is just, it is just, I, I, I just don't like it. I don't like it on sale. Now, this, I like it. This one I like a lot, but I have too many watches and this one is still new, not a single scratch. So, I don't know, I don't really want to do that, but I'm going to put it on sale. So this one is gonna on, gonna go on sale because I have too many watches. So I have I have to sell some. 
I may gonna regret, but I gonna buy it back if I gonna regret too much. So this one, I did a review on this watch, yes, but I'm not putting it on sale. Not putting it on sale yet, because I gonna use this watch in a future video, in a future review video in comparison. So I'm not keeping for myself. I gonna sell it afterwards, but this one. And the same story with this Cadison. Would put it on sale, but I gonna use it in comparison video. By the way, pay attention to this blue dial. Isn't it wonderful? It looks so good. It looks so good. By the way, I broke the movement. So before selling it, I have to fix it first. I tried adjusting the time, you know, not the time, I tried adjusting the speed of the watch and the wheel just popped all out, out of the escapement wheel and I lost it. So I don't know, maybe some watchmaker will be able to fix it. Probably. If not, I will put a Miyota movement inside. Not a big deal. Wonderful watch. Still gonna sell it because I gonna sell it because I will tell you at the end of the video. I have other watch very similar to this one, which I like better. That's basically it. All the watches left are the ones I still gonna do the review on. Okay, for example, this Pagani design, huge watch. It's a brick of an iron, but the dial of this watch is so incredible. It is so incredible. I just love this dial. It looks insane. And that's the single reason why I bought it. Just for a review, just because of this dial. Look how big it is on my hand. That's just... <laughs> that is ridiculous. What the hell? The size of this watch is just another world. So, after doing the review, I definitely gonna sell it, but... Wow. Wow, it is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Next, Invicta Pro Diver. I have a history with this watch. Uh, the same Invicta Pro Diver was my first automatic watch. And I have many nice things to tell about this Invicta. I like it a lot. Although I, it does have some quality control problems. It doesn't have sapphire crystal or ceramic bezel. But it is such a lovely watch. For some reason it is such a lovely watch. I like proportions of this watch so much. And it the, I like the dial, the seconds, hand. I just like this. I just like it. But after doing review, yeah, I'm gonna sell it because I have better watches. But the review about this Invicta Pro Diver is definitely gonna be a very positive one. Definitely. Next is this uh, Adidas Dive Deep Sea Hunter. I had Steel Dive Marine Master before, which is basically the same watch. I sold it. And I saw this one, I wanted to try it out, what's different. And it's it's probably the same watch. The only difference I could think of is probably this blue anti-reflective coating. Because on that steel dive, the anti-reflective coating was just so annoying. It was so hazy. The dial was always looking blue. While on this one, I can't really tell because I don't have steel dives. So I can't put them side by side. But this blue anti-reflective doesn't look that annoying. It lets see the dial while steel dive didn't let you see the dial. By the way, this looks incredible. It's an, such an incredible watch. I like it so much. I was thinking about keeping it after doing the review. I don't know. We'll see. So the review of this watch coming up sometime in the future. I like it a lot. The review is gonna be definitely positive one. Now the controversial one. Uh, my first Seiko watch. Seiko 5. Incredible beautiful dial. I love the proportions. Such a lovely watch. It is incredibly lovely watch. But it has very strong big negative points. So the video is gonna be very polarizing. Yeah, so the review in the future by the way look how wonderful it looks like on my small hand on my small wrist sorry not the hand wrist it's just my size it's just my size in this blue color oh my god such a lovely watch 
but it has problems it has some problems about that in the review next oh this one this one still gonna do the review on this wonderful Casio the reason why I bought this golden Casio is because of this golden Pagani design and the reason why I'm selling this Pagani design is this Casio if I'm gonna keep one golden watch it's gonna be this Casio because it is just such a lovely watch such a lovely watch you see that Pagani design is just it's such a big watch such a big golden watch you have to be in a very specific mood to wear this watch but this Casio because it's so simple and small it's a lot uh, easier going watch I would say <laughs> so yeah I like this Casio a lot also the review is gonna be one of those extra positive ones it's just such a lovely watch I may gonna keep it after review may gonna keep it because I wanna have at least one golden watch in my collection to scratch that golden itch sometimes so next one also uh, this sorry for Alex here on the watch this one Casio A168 and this is the reason why I'm still keeping this uh, this Casio because in the review of this watch I'm gonna also use this watch because they have the same module so I'm gonna show you the differences how they look with positive with negative LCD screen to be honest with you this watch doesn't really click for me and I don't really know what to say about it too much it looks cool it's a nice dressy little Casio watch but if I would do review about this watch right now it would end up probably like three minutes long <laughs> isn't much to tell just show different angles shots how it looks like and yeah tell my opinion about it it's not a bad watch though it's not a bad watch very lovely very lovely watch and this Cadison is the reason why I'm currently not selling why I'm not selling this Cadison because I want to do a little comparison because they have some differences this one has this broken Chinese movement this one has this Miyota annoying also rather loud movement this Cadison it has some problems about that in the review and now these fitness watches MS Fit Neo if you are looking for classy looking uh, good fitness watch which has uh, good functionality towards smart watches and also good battery I would recommend this watch although the, it has one problem this one and this MS not MS Xiaomi Band 6 they have the same problem they uh, measure the heart rate up to 120 beats but uh, above 120 beats they just completely lose it and I did testing uh, with Polaris H10 on, on the chest so Polaris H10 is just one of the most accurate things it shows your beat rate very well up to 200 and whatever and these ones once they reach 120 they just completely lose but just use it as a daily watches to check your pulse what's your average pulse uh, heart rate they are pretty good for that me gonna do comparison but I don't know they are very different so I may gonna do separate review videos and I'm showing you the box because my wife currently wears this watch she likes this watch very much the battery lasts so long that she forgets to charge the watch it's wonderful watch also very highly recommend this one uh, Xiaomi Band 6 very very fun watch it's some of you may say it's not a watch it's a device no it's still a lot of fun you know it's still a watch now these G-Shocks <laughs> these G-Shocks I'll be honest with you I'm struggling with them I need to do a review about them I just don't know what to say <laughs> I may gonna do a review with these T-Shocks wearing them on my feet because they fit my feet better than my wrist I, I don't know except this one uh, this one fits my wrist rather well it's short it, it is big bulky but it is short the same way as this um, Tuna Homage the same way 
yeah so a lot of fun still don't know what i'm gonna say about them so we'll see we'll see and these ones the problem with them is that they are very long very long watches and when i put them on my wrist even though i if i tighten the the them a lot they still hang off my wrist quite a lot so i don't know <laughs> fashion watches very strong durable fashion watches that's doing review on these g-shocks is gonna be a struggle i'm gonna tell you and out of these g-shocks i i like this one the best because look at this dial it somehow gives me some kind of nostalgic feelings i don't even know why but for some reason this watch feels like a, some kind of a retro style me personally i like this dial very much it it is such a beautiful dial but the size of the watch the fitment is just yeah about that in in the review of that watch now a bunch of cash is still <laughs> still waiting for a review <laughs> so let's start with this one fishing watch a lot of fun this watch is a lot of fun it shows it kind of shows the fishing activity which it's a little bit gimmicky but i like that because it always shows you that well it's not always but sometimes it shows you that wow fish is super active now and it kind of reminds you that uh, to go out and do some activities i like that about this watch quite a lot uh, it feels a little bit cheap a little bit nasty plasticky but it has very strong strong positive points as well about that in the review sometime in the future now uh, this castle watch also such an interesting watch super interesting watch digital analog it has very quirky features and it feels wonderful on the hand by the way the size the fitment it feels like the same way as this xiaomi band 6 yeah except this is like as some of you might say a proper watch actually <laughs> these three casios are very similar i would say this vault timer and these two may gonna do just one review video about three of them maybe just about these two separately from this one yeah i'm gonna be honest with you i don't click with these watches they just somehow don't connect with me so i will struggle to review about these watches a little bit maybe I'll, I'll need a little bit more time but the review may gonna be may gonna end up to be very technical instead of emotional and me personally i prefer doing emotional reviews over over technical reviews some watches that i don't know i gonna keep it keep them or not uh, for example this adidas dive I love this watch. It is such a wonderful watch, but I don't wear it that often, really. And it is slightly, just a little bit too big for me. I still wish it was smaller, even though as a pilot style watch, this is a small watch, it still takes too much space on my wrist. Not visually, but like luck to luck distance, I don't quite remember, is like 49 millimeters, something like that. That's a little bit long almost tries to hang off of my wrist that's the problem but but it is so nice it is such a purposeful watch it's, i like it a lot watch watch a uh, re review of this watch it's like it's very emotional review one of those that i like doing the best this is incredible watch so i'm currently gonna keep it for a while i don't know me gonna sell it later on but we'll see about that uh, this Casio which I have modified, uh, I have modified the bezel, the bezel is brushed and I changed the, the seconds hand and after doing modifications I missed the original watch <laughs> so that's why I bought the original one and to be honest with you I like unmodified the original one better so I may gonna sell this for I don't know not much but I probably gonna sell it you see I don't personally like having two many things i mean if i have two watches that are too similar i just gonna sell one because it's 
it's too difficult for me to choose which one to wear and I just don't want to have such problems in my life. So I would rather sell one and have an ease of mind, <laughs> sort, sort of speak. This one I'm keeping definitely. God tier watch. This is, in my opinion, the most elegant castle watch ever. Sapphire crystal. 60 euros. Super accurate. 50 meters water resistant. Look how wonderful it looks like on my hand. It is 37 millimeters. Look at this watch. Just look at it. Just look at this watch. <laughs> I'm also thinking about buying uh, there is version with silver dial. I'm thinking about buying the one with silver dial because I like this paranis very much and it has silver dial. And that's why I'm thinking about also buying this Casio with silver bell. Such a wonderful watch. Such a wonderful watch. Got here. Sorry about cat hair, by the way. My cats are long hair cats and cat hair is just basically everywhere. So sorry for that. When I do a review of several watches, I can clean them off, you know, prepare. But when there are a bunch of watches, there are also a bunch of cat hair. <laughs> that's just how it goes if you, can, if you have... Long hair cat, yes, Amy and Alex is you won't see it, but it's also here <laughs> together with me. So, now about the watches that I'm not wearing but not selling either. Uh, let me say, let me tell you something. For example, this Skmi watch, I have this Skmi watch for six years now and it's still going strong with the original battery. I don't know about the solar panels, are they real or not but this watch is unbeatable it's like a g-shock except it's smaller lighter this watch has seen a lot of seas rivers lakes saunas jacuzzi swimming pools travels mountains this is incredible watch and i'm very impressed how well this golden coating holding up so six years this watch not wearing it anymore but it's like i paid uh, back then 3 euros 60 I believe for this watch Currently they are going for something like 10 euros. Check out the review of this watch Incredible watch. I highly recommend it for this price. This is just incredible and this screen is big very legible Wonderful watch not selling but not wearing either <laughs> Also similar situation with this me watch. I like it. It was 9 euros I believe yeah and also it's this watch is a lot of fun I still wish these buttons were black instead of red but this watch is a lot of fun so nine euros and it's already half broken this plastic case it's uh, is a little bit broken so I can't sell it and I mean what what would I get for this watch like two euros maybe <laughs> so it stays even though if, I, if I'm not wearing this watch Another watch with similar situation is my mom's Skmi watch. Wonderful watch. I highly recommend this watch. Th this watch, as you see right now, it has had two years of abuse and it still looks wonderful. Uh, mineral crystal. 10 euros I paid for this watch. I gave it to my mom and she wore this watch for two, two years till the battery died. And I was thinking about changing the battery, but she's currently enjoying uh, the same Casio MQ24 so much that she doesn't even want this watch anymore. My top uh, three watches that I'm not selling. First of all, F91W. Isn't much to tell about this watch. I wear this watch basically almost every day. When I'm at home, I put this watch on and this is my, this is my daily watch basically. I wear it every day. And overall, this is God tier watch. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Another watch. You know, these two watches competing each other are like crazy. Like, <laughs> some days I wear this watch, some days I wear this watch. I love them both so much. I can't choose which one to wear most, uh, quite often. This one. Oh my God, look at this beauty. I just love this watch so much. Such a wonderful watch. Check out the review of this watch. Incredible. You see, it was like trio. 
these three watches that's it three watches that i wear i don't need any other watches i'm fine and like these are my daily watches watches i wear them at at work and at home and this is my fancy watch where i dress up a little bit and go out somewhere but right now this parness is taking the place of this casio way too often i would say this parness is the prettiest watch i currently have and i like it so much i currently going on holiday i'm going flying to turkey and i need to take I, I i need to take one watch that would do it all i'm gonna swim a lot in swimming pools jacuzzis whatever and i'm also gonna dress up a little bit nicer for the evenings and i want to have one watch that does it all you would say just take something like something like like this one it's too big too bulky too much in a way i just it's wonderful watch but in comparison i would much rather take this little watch look how wonderful it looks like on my hand it is 36 millimeters this is amazing this watch is amazing i love it so much so yeah this casio now struggles a little bit i like it a lot this is god tier watch but i wear parnas way more often than that casio these are my four favorite watches right now these two compete each other compete to each other like mad <laughs> But these two also compete to each other. So strange to say, but Casio competes with this homage watch. But this homage watch, it's so good. It's so good. The last watch is my G-Shock. This G-Shock is just insane. By the way, this is not 5600 BB. This is its brother 5750E. So it's the one with the rounded bezel. So I modded it up with this white outfit i do wear it sometimes i do wear it but it's one of those watches when i wear it i was like one day i wake up i take this watch and oh i'm gonna wear it today and i end up wearing it for like three four days in a row one of those watches that i just i just love it and this watch you know i can swap it out with different kind of bezels like this bezel this bezel hold on this bezel is from 5600 bb this is the, its original bezel this is from the simple 5600 something i don't remember also have this metal bezel as uh, some other straps i love playing with this watch i can change the look of this watch in like five minutes <laughs> for very cheap i also did the review how this watch looks like with these different options so check out in my channel somewhere <laughs> that's it sorry for this long and boring video <laughs> have a wonderful day goodbye